On Wednesdays, the West Side Market is usually bursting at the seams as shoppers gather their groceries. But today, it was closed, unexpectedly shut down. The latest drama in the long list of problems plaguing the market for years. Isabel Lawrence explains what happened and when they're hoping to open those doors again. At the West Side Market, signs read open during construction. They're not open. But on Wednesday, customers found that wasn't the case. Drove down here and didn't realize they weren't open. Three News stopped by the market Wednesday morning to find vendors standing around a typically bustling hall. The market was also closed Monday, MLK Day, and the start of scheduled electrical upgrades. But during those upgrades, crews ran into some technical issues. Crews were working, you know, overnight last night to get the market up and running. Um, when they switched over from uh, the generator that was operating the coolers and the elevators that the vendors use, um, they ran into an issue with one of the transformers. There was still power in the market, but without elevators, it was a challenge for vendors to get their goods from storage downstairs, where many had moved their products for the upgrades, back upstairs to their storefronts. Well, financially, it's going to impact you. Know. You know, we had a lot of labor, extra labor on Sunday, packing everything up. Don Whitaker is a vendor of 31 years and president of the Westside Market Tenants Association. We'll learn from this because there's going to be other renovations coming up. You know, they allocated a lot of money, so the building's been neglected for quite some time. They got to get it up to code and all that. And We'll just have to muscle through it. When 3 News checked in with Jessica Trevisano, senior strategist for the market, later in the day, she said most of the repairs were already done. It's a gem that we are uh, really looking forward to uh, working with, you know, both the building and the vendors to, you know, give it its due. So um, it's not going to happen overnight, but we are, you know, really looking forward to the process of, you know, continuing to make improvements and upgrades here. So the market is over 100 years old, and Trevisano told me these electrical upgrades happen to bring everything back up to that commercial standard and also to meet the new modern needs of their vendors. Now, she did say electrical crews would be on site tomorrow and Friday just in case any more issues were to arise, but they are planning on opening back up again on Friday, Laura. All right, good news there. Isabel Lawrence live for us tonight. Isabel, thank you.